Well, hello friends, welcome back to the program. Today we are going to work on something random as we've been doing recently uh, with another round of the Fix Me Roulette where we git grep the code base for Fix Me or To Do and then shuffle that so that we get a single work item. Uh, and since last time, Ben has made this web page which uh, shows graphs of Fix Me's and To Do's over time which is kind of funny and uh, really puts into perspective the development and accumulation that we've seen. So this is over all time. And then it also has like last 24 hours, last seven days and, and so on. Uh, and you can actually see the dent I made in the last video here uh, with the uh, snake game and cat dog and minesweeper stuff. Um, looks pretty big here on the, on the seven day graph. Uh, but in the great scheme of things, it's a pretty small dent. So we still have a lot of technical debt to um, to attend to. And what better way to do that but to shuffle and go. So today we are going to be working on libweb uh, table element. Fix me. The spec requires deleting the current caption if caption is null. Okay. So what is that? Wait, line 67. Hello. Okay, so we are in HTML table element set caption. Okay. Is this a really old fix me? From May 2021. So it's fairly old at this point. Um, and there's no spec link, but we can go and find it. So caption blah 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 take me to the spec okay returns to tables caption element so table dot caption can be set replace the caption element all right does it say anything what the behavior should be the spec rec wait what does it say here this is not always the case but this function is currently written in a way that assumes non null Uh, what? So what is this thing really? Table element dot IDL caption. Where is caption? Here. So it's a nullable HTML table caption element. Okay. Which is an interface that we support. Sure. So should you not be assign be able to assign null to it? The spec requires deleting the current caption if caption is null. Currently, the wrapper generator doesn't send us a nullable value. I wonder if any of this is true. Um, OK. The caption ideal attribute must return on getting the first caption element child of the table element, if any or null otherwise. Okay, so let's look if we implement the getter correctly. Getter does first child of type table caption element. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put some spec links and spec pros and whatnot here um, because it's much, much easier if you have spec links. And if we have the text from the spec telling us what is going on here. So um, let's see, let's, let's break there maybe. Okay, so implementation looks legit. It's just um, now it's much, much easier to, <laughs> to reference. And then on setting, the first caption element child of the table element if any must be removed and the new value if not null must be inserted as the first node of the table element so let's validate um, the assertion here that we could never get a null value because it seems to me like this should be able to be it's a nullable attribute because it has the question mark so why wouldn't that work um, 
So let's see. Let's make a little test page just to exercise this little behavior. Um, script body tablet tablet. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're just going to make a basic table like this. Um, in fact, it doesn't even need to be in the thing, I guess. We can also just do this. Look at us now. Uh, but we will have a body though, so we'll do something like this. Let t let table is document create element table table dot caption is null. What happens if I do this? Will I crash? I crash. <laughs> so that assumption did definitely not hold. Verification failed caption. And would you look at that? Verify caption. So um, this is definitely not correct. I mean, the, the, um, the API is fine, but this verification here is bogus. So we got some stuff to do. Let's start by just, um, I guess, adding the spec link to caption that we already did. So the web add spec link and comment to HTML table element caption. Okay, and then we're gonna have to fix both of these fix me's. So I guess basically the state of the fix me's here um, state is that at some point in the past, I guess you couldn't get a null value here because of some issue in the um, bindings, but nowadays you evidently you can, right? So you have to go and the spec requires deleting the current caption if it's null. Currently doesn't send us a nullable value. So it will send us a nullable value. Don't you worry about that. What is delete caption? Who else calls that? Uh huh. Only one place. So what did it say that we were supposed to do? Let's just copy this stuff here. Oh, delete caption is a legit API. All right, all right. Then it makes sense that we reuse that functionality. Um, the first caption element child of the table element, if any, must be removed. And the new value, if not null, must be inserted as the first node of the table element. So delete caption will find the first caption element. If so, if it finds one, it will remove it. Quite legit. So I think it's fair to do that. And then if the incoming caption is non-null, then we will insert it as the first node of the table element. As the first node of the table element? F first node? I would have expected that to say the first child of the table element. Is first node something that people say? Insert it as the first node. Um, that's really weird. <laughs> I haven't seen that, um, that way of phrasing it before. First node of, I'm just searching in the whole spec here. First node of the table element. So it occurs only in those two APIs and then in an unrelated place. Um, first child of. Insert element as first child of. First child. Hmm. Okay. I mean, it's not, not the most important thing. <laughs> but we could make a spec bug about it. I don't think it's that big of an issue. It's just a bit of a strange wording. Uh, so nitpicking aside, let's see. If we just do that, then we don't crash. That's good. So I guess we should see that this actually works also. 
Um, bam, 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 bam. So let's set some table caption. What if we make a T head? T head, T head, inner HTML is hello. So let's see what Firefox does with that. It doesn't like it. Um, what don't you like? Show me. Uh, oh, T head is not a caption element. Oh, I should have just said caption, I guess. What is the tag name? What is the tag name of a caption? Caption? It is just caption. Okay. Yeah, it's not T head. It's because T head is a section element. It's not a caption element. All right. Let me get my uh, let me get my head on, my T head off, and my human head on, and then we will do this, um, and then we will open this with Firefox, which it accepted, but we still don't see anything, obviously, because because we don't insert the thing anywhere. So let's do that also. So document body append child table. There it is. And will it work in Ladybird? Nope. <laughs> All right. So are we in the DOM? We are in the DOM. Table caption hello. It might just be that we don't know how to render that. Uh, we have a table. We don't know what to do with caption. I wonder, does our what does our style sheet even think about that? Caption. Display table caption. Oh, I guess we don't. Um, we don't handle that in any way yet, I think. Table caption. Uh, how do we resolve that to anything? Is table caption. What does that generate? Uh, this is just an incorrect placeholder until we improve table layout support. <laughs> All right, so, so we don't know what to do with that because we don't implement table caption layout yet. But we can see that the DOM at least is looking good, right? We have a caption element with the string hello inside of it, as expected. So, so that part is fine. Um, that is great. So let's also verify that it's possible to um, to remove the caption once assigned. Wait, where am I going? Not there. Where am I going? Here. Um, right, so table remove caption. What was it that? Was it delete caption? What's the name of it? So if we do that, it should still work, but now the thing should be gone. If we dump the DOM tree, uh, we see that the table no longer has the caption element. So this was actually pretty straightforward. Just a matter of fixing up this stuff. Um, oh, interesting. There's a create caption API. I think, you know, we could we could spruce up this file a little bit with spec uh, comments and stuff like that. So since we're here, let's do that anyway. And oh, look at that. These are similar problems. I just searched for fix me in the same file. And we have set t head, same type of fix me, I bet, same type of problem. Set t foot, same type of fix me, probably same type of problem. Uh, yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and fix those as well. Set caption um, that 
set caption. So that shares the link, I think, for um, for the getter. Getter and setter typically don't have separate links in the spec. Uh, almost. Wait, how did I mess that up so badly? Right, on setting, yeah, there isn't any special anchor for setting. So that's fine. The web. Um, handle, allow, um, setting HTML table element dot caption to null value. This uh, takes care of two fix me's. Cool. All right, so let's do the other ones. Set T head, which is presumably the T head ideal attribute. Yep, yep, yep. So we start by diligently putting a spec link and then some some of the text here. Um, this is the getter information. So the T head ideal attribute must return on getting the first T head element. Um, of the table element, t first he had element child of the table element, if any, or null otherwise. The first t head element child. Wait, and then what is this thing actually doing? It's checking if the child is a table section element. If so, it's checking that it has the tag name T head. Oh, I get it. I get it. Because um, um, T head and T foot are both table section elements. So we can't just look for a table section element. We have to loop until we find a table section element that has the correct tag name. So T head in this case. Got it. That's fair. So we will also, um, first we're just going to comment the getter and setter, I guess. So on setting, if the new value is null or a t head element, the first t head element child of the table element, if any, must be removed, and the new value, if not null, must be inserted immediately before the first element in the table element that is neither a caption element nor a call group element, if any, <laughs> or at the end of the table if there are no such elements. If the new value is neither null nor a t head element, then a hierarchy request error DOM exception must be thrown instead. Interesting. T head. Uh huh. So is that like if you pass it a t foot, I guess? Because of what I was just saying, that you we can't distinguish based on the interface type alone. So. As I read this, it's like if you give it um, some kind of a table section element that's not a uh, t head. And that's what we're doing here. Yes. So if local name is not t head, then we hierarchy request error saying element is not a thed. It's not thed. Cool. All right. And then it has the bad assumption about never being called with null. Sure, so we can fix that up. And then we insert it after any caption or call group elements. Okay, so this looks legit. So we're looking for the first, the child to append after, skipping over non HTML elements. If we find a caption element, continue. If you find a table call that is a call group, continue. Otherwise, append here. Yeah. Okay, so I guess what we should do here is this goes away. Yeah, let's let's do this all in one swoop. So we um on setting, if the new value is null or a t head element then the first t head element child of the table, if any, must be removed. Uh, 
and the new value da, 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 da. so okay so we put that first and then we'll put the rest of the information here Uh, if any must be removed. <laughs> okay. Uh, that seems reasonable. So then we'll we'll keep the spec comments instead of our own homemade comments. Um I mean actually the the homemade comments serve to um I guess serve to clarify how the loop works. So it's still helpful, I would say. If after we delete it here, we don't have anything to insert, I don't think we need to continue. So we can say uh if t head if not t head, then just return. That seems fine. So before I compile that, let me um, check if this would just break. So like table dot head no. This should crash, and it does. And then if we rebuild, it should no longer crash. Okay, it still crashes. <laughs> Um, all right, why does it crash? I wonder. Let's find out. Why have you crashed? You have crashed on line 116. Sure. So we are here. Oh, we're looking at T head local name. Uh, and it's null. That's kind of interesting. So I guess if t head and t head local name, that is the momka. Okay, no crashy. But I bet you t foot still has the issue. Yeah. Right. So so at this point, we're just gonna just gonna commit these. Fix ups for T head, and we're going to do the same for T foot. Um, so, allow what did I say in the first one? Allow setting HTML table element T head to null value. This takes care, this deals with to fix me. Uh, all right. And then let's do the same thing for T foot. T foot. Where am I trying to go? The table element, the T foot attribute. Mm hmm. Okay, spec link for you. And a little bit of uh, commentary. Mm -hmm. So it's just looking for the a thing. And then for the setter. No, no, no. Don't want to use pocket Firefox. Don't know if anybody wants to use pocket, but uh, who knows? Um, okay, T foot. So this was just T foot like this. Just check that we have a T foot, and if it's if we have a T foot, but it's not a T foot, I guess. Yeah, then a it's not a T foot. And then here, try to delete it, and then if. We don't have one. T 
TT foot return, right? And then just insert it. So on setting the if the new value is null or not a T foot, uh, if the new value is null or a T foot, then the first T foot element child of the table, if element table, if any, must be removed. So we do remove it if it's null or a T foot. And the new value, if not null, must be inserted at the end of the table. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is this is this is good. Okay. We are getting there. Okay. So since it says here, and the new value, if not null, must be inserted. So I feel like we might as well write it this way. Right. Uh, I can write it like this and like that. Okay. Cool. It's another two fix me's. Allow setting HTML table element dot t foot to null value. This annihilates two fix me's. Okay, <laughs> working on the cool words here. So it should no longer crash. We should be good. Good, good, good. Cool. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, go through here and add some spec links to like create T foot. Um, I'm, I'm just going to add the spec links, not the commentary, and then. Uh, you know, leave something for our future selves. It's just, it's so much easier to work with the code if at, if you at least have the spec links. So create T-body. Um, rows is already here. Very nice. Insert row. Clickety-click. Delete row already there. And then we probably had some ones above like create a thread. Wait, is create t head not a thing? Create t head, yes. Create t head. I'm a bit of a t head. At least I drink a lot of tea. We're working on this uh, batch of um, <laughs> of English tea that I ordered from Twinings directly. And I got to say, they got some good stuff over in the UK. A bunch of flavors that I can't get here in Sweden. So uh, really glad that people people on office hours nudged me um, into ordering from Twinings UK. Delete Thed. Let's get that. Delete T Head. All right. I think... Uh, there are a couple more. Delete caption. Create caption. Create caption. And delete caption. Sure. And the rest are not APIs with links. So we should be good. Cool. Yeah, there's more stuff to do in this code, obviously. This is just a little start. But um, I think we got six fix me's here, so it's definitely not bad. Uh, libweb add spec links to IDO APIs in uh, HTML table element. Cool, 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 cool. So I think this is going to be the end of today's video. Uh, if you made it here, then thank you for watching, for hanging out. And uh, I'll put a link to Ben's Fix Me tracker thingy in the video description. Uh, because it is kind of fun, although uh, I guess I should make clear that 
um, that I always prefer that people work on things that interest them or things that, that they're curious about. And it's not that anybody has to work on fix me sort of to do's, but it is kind of fun to, um, at least I find it really fun to use them as a way to just teleport yourself to a random place in the code base and then have to deal with something there. Uh, and it it's, can be a really good way to just get to know something that you haven't touched before. So um, link in the description. Uh, this is the end of the video. So thanks for hanging out. I will see you all next time.